Hi! This video is an example of how an animated icon can be created for our Conseil collection. Everything starts with the idea. You can look up something on the internet or make up something yourself. For example, here I like how many icon turns into an arrow. I go to Iconsaid and download first and final icons in SVG format, pixel perfect size, and not simplified. Open both files in Adobe Illustrator and put everything on one artboard. I'm going to make the arrow another color just to see it more clearly. And save everything in Adobe Illustrator format. I go to After Effects and see previous animation I was doing. I'm gonna have just the same composition settings and simply resave this project. Delete everything that remains from previous animation, rename composition and resave the file into a needed folder with the right name. Now I just drag and drop Illustrator files from the folder onto this panel and it gets imported in After Effects. Now right click on it and choose Create Shapes from Vector Layer. Delete Illustrator layer, we don't need it anymore. And for the animation I have in mind, I want to separate the layers with different figures. For this I will duplicate the layers, pressing Ctrl D several times, and separate the middle line in the menu from the top and the bottom ones. In this case, if I see anywhere merge paths, I just delete it. All set, we can make an animation now. I find the figure I want to animate now and create the keyframes in the initial state from where all the transformation will begin. A bit later in time I choose a point and move it where I want to see it. And I do the same with another point of this figure. And now repeat it for the top line. Both lines become a narrow, as close as possible. Now I can animate how the middle line will disappear. For this, click this little triangle and on the line with contents, click on the button next to the caption Add. In the menu, choose Trim Paths. In the beginning of the animation, we open Trim Paths and click on the little fox near end and start. Now in the end of animation, depending on the direction of the path, we can change either end or start. Click on the numbers and drag right or left to see the changes. Here we want to animate on the end value. Good, now we can animate the arrow. Arrow is going to be the final point of animation, so we I'm going to create a keyframe somewhere we want to finish it. And then, in the beginning of the arrow animation, we create a keyframe. 
As far as our lines already look like an arrow, the second part of animation is going to be just arrow twitching, like moving by inertia. Somewhere in the middle of animation I move this point holding shift and see how it looks. Ok, now we have to cut the length of the layer with an arrow, so it's going to be invisible while the menu animation is on. And then cut, then cut the menu so it's invisible while the arrow is on. Now we're gonna make the reversed animation. Just copy keyframes of the arrow in the reversed order and cut the length of the layer. Then, then choose both layers of the menu icon and duplicate them, putting under the originals, and then move them to the end of the working area. Now just swap the keyframes in the reversed order and see how it looks. Ok, it's time to change the color of the arrow back to the black. Now I want to add some inertial movement to the menu lines when an arrow becomes a menu. I create new keyframes. For this I just copy keyframes from the end. And now I'm gonna move the edges of the lines like they moved a little bit farther than they should have. And this middle point of the arrow here I can delete. Menu moves too fast in the end, so we have to give less time to the arrow animation and give more time to the menu. And now we can add the ease. Choose all the middle keyframes of all the transitions, right click on one of them and choose keyframe assistant easy ease. Now choose all the end keyframes of all the transitions, right click on them, choose keyframe assistant easy ease ease. Now all the initial keyframe, right click, choose keyframe assistant easy ease out. Ok, just move a little bit here. Now I have to rename the layers, so it's understandable what's on them. It would be more orderly to do it in the beginning, but in the creative flow I usually don't get to it. Now we can export our perfect animation into JSON format. For this, start plugin body moving, which should already be downloaded and installed. In the window, choose composition you want to export and click on the green string here. Choose where to save it and the name of the file. Click button render and it's ready. Now close this window and you can check how the exported file looks in the online player for Loti files. Everything looks as it should. Now we can export it in GIF format. Duplicate the composition so our original stays unchanged. Choose one composition and in menu file choose run script file. And choose one of the scripts that can help you to speed up the work. We'll start from the 50 one. It did a job and added the white background in the bottom of the composition. Then in File choose Export, Add to Media and Code to Queue.
When it's ready, you just have to check several settings. First, name of the file in the folder where it will be exported to. Then format. We should choose animated GIF. There is an extra file, but we'll change the format just in case. Yeah, the top is extra, just delete it. Now with all your proper settings, just click on this start button and wait when it's done. Let's check right now how it looks. Good, now we have to make the bigger version. Go back to After Effects and press Ctrl Z just to undo the actions of the previous script. Now in menu File, Run Script File, choose the second script. It's going to make the composition bigger and add the white background. Now again in the menu File, we choose Export Add to Media and Code OQ. All the settings are already right, so just start it. Let's see how it's done. Ok, good. Now rename everything as it should be and put everything in one folder. All we need for the Icons 8 collection now is a SVG file. Go back to Illustrator in the file that we prepared earlier and make it exactly as the first frame of your animation and save it in SVG. In the end we will have five files for one animated icon. I'm gonna copy the file name and create the folder with the same name. Put the five ready files. And it can already be added to Icon Rate Collection. It's important to make After Effects file understandable. No extra composition, only original animation and everything with the proper names, so it will be easy to use for other people. Congratulations! Now you saw the process of creating an animated icon for Icon 8.